With me now, Public Education Manager, Nadine McLeod. You know her? And Senior Legal Executive, Keita Delahaye from the Administrator General's Department to talk a little bit this morning about securing our legacies. Good yes. morning, ladies. Welcome Good morning, to you. Good morning. Good morning. This, is, a, this is an education us. for a lot of folks who did not know you were with the Administrator General's sure, Department sure. Um, as well as part-time here at TVJ. We're talking today about an issue that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Um, securing legacies, we're talking about wills. Yes. Um, Nads, let me start with you. From a, from a PR perspective, this is not really a very sexy topic. No, but a very no, important no it's one. not, because a lot yeah. of Jamaicans believe that when they make a will, they're going to die. So it's, it's is really... Re is it really? This no, no. That's the no, science no, behind no, it? Is no, that why no, people no, are scared? No, 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 no. Is that why people are afraid no, to do no, it? Is no, that when no, you do no, it? No, I think culturally, yeah. that's what a lot of people say. I'm yeah. not going to make a will because I'm going to die. Yeah. So from a cultural perspective, yes, it is a bit... Truth, though, is that we're all going to die. Yes. yes so we need to make yes, the will. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. Is it ever too early? No, it's never too early to make a will. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we recommend that as soon as you start to gather assets or you have beneficiaries that you make a will so that whatever you want to leave to them will go to them. Yeah. You guys have a, a road, is that road show? Yes. Coming yes, up. We'll yes. talk more about that. But um, let's talk a little bit about the importance of making a will. There have been some horror stories with people who have not done so, and then when they do pass, it is just hell and powder hose to get everything sorted. Um, tell us about the importance of making that will, Nas. So basically, a will allows you to state exactly who you want to get your belongings. So, you know, that beautiful blue dress right there can be placed in a will. I like to give this example about an old lady in a community who, uh, she was ill before she died. And um, nobody cared about her, her family, her relatives, or her children. And there was one person who, a lady in the community who took it up on herself to take care of, of, of the elderly lady, um, you know, ensure that her surroundings are clean, she's clean and whatever. And before she died, she made a will. So the will basically protects that person and she will, you know, almost all her belongings to that person. Mm. So they will basically protect that person as long as it is valid. Right. Okay. What would invalidate it? Uh, well, in, based on the <coughs> example that Nadine um, gave, what would probably invalidate a will like that is whether or not the person who, the testator, they call her, um, did not have the mental capacity to make the will, um, whether or not at the point of making the will she didn't have two attesting witnesses at the same time, and whether the person that was taking care of her could have said to be exercising undue influence over her or she made Gosh. the will under due rest. Yes. Yes. How do you know how left those things? How are you going well, to Well, <laughs> a lot of times um, those things come out in when we, what we call contentious probate proceedings, which is where, for example, the beneficiary of that person's estate, a, a child would come and say, I'm contesting that will, Correct. and it goes before the court, mm -hmm. and then the court will have to examine how the entire will was made. Yeah. So that yes. is how it will come Do come you out. see a lot of those cases? Yes, you do have oh a lot of contentious um, probate when proceedings. we have like land and... Yes. Right, because mm -hmm. what a lot of persons don't understand is that um, estate planning is really an avenue towards wealth and that is which is why we we um, emphasize that you do estate planning so a lot of persons will contest the will because mm -hmm. to own a piece of property to get money that's an avenue to wealth and a lot of persons want that yeah when when does the administrator general get involved when are you all required to act well the administrator general is required to act when for example in all matters of intestacy mm -hmm. but specifically where you have minor beneficiaries, that is persons benefiting from an estate under the age of 18, where persons have appointed us executors, because we do have instances where persons have appointed us executors, um, where the court will call us in contentious probate proceedings and say, we want the administrator generals to act, or where we have been appointed trustee Mm -hmm. Under a deed of trust, and by or by court, you basically mean when somebody dies, right? Mm -hmm. Without leaving a will, without mm -hmm. leaving a will. Right. So mm -hmm. um, the, that's when the administrator mm -hmm. general is the required person, to act. The person has to have assets in their estate, and, and by asset, we're not only talking about property. We're not only talking about your house and your car. Talking about NHG contribution, gratuity, pension, everything, right. everything. unpaid salary, unpaid vacation, vacation leave. leave, whatever you die leaving. Yes. Right. It goes all the way down yes. to there. Yes. So yes. when that person dies without leaving a will, that's got to be. Right. Yes. Very difficult. To what, what you really, you, you, you are placing a burden on your beneficiaries to go and try to find out where your assets are. And in a will, we emphasize that you 
basically list all your assets. Even if you can't list it, mm -hmm. at least you'll have somebody there to immediately take possession and control of your estate, which is what an executor mm -hmm. in the will will normally do. When you do when you die without leaving a will, there's nobody really in control mm -hmm. until yes. a person has extracted from the court a grant of administration. And that's gonna take a while, I'm sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. But with the with the department now, we have the power based on our amendment, um, an amendment to our statute. Once we are in charge of the estate and the estate consists of minor beneficiaries, we are given the power to issue our own grants. Mm -hmm. And presently, we are issuing our own grants within, let's say, eight, eight weeks. Once mm -hmm. um, investigation has been completed, okay. we can issue a grant in eight okay. weeks. Okay, Nadine, you are going to jump in. Uh, yes. As uh, Kida was saying about uh, passing on wealth, it's not only about passing on wealth, it's also about economic development in terms of making a will. Because, you know, you can will a property to somebody, and uh, that person can use the property, you know, to, 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 to get some money to borrow, of to course. start a chicken farm, to build, a, to, to build a shop, yes. or, or something. So on yes. the broader, um, looking at it from a broader perspective, it's also about economic development. I want to find out about the roadshow, but Kidia, is it a difficult process for people here making a will? They start to think, Lord, it's so much work. Yes. You can just pick up a form. Where do you get the forms? Well, I think mo the forms are available at our department. Right. And you can also and get it from our website, www.gov.gov.gov. Okay. Don't bookstores And bookstores book as well okay. have those um, forms. It's not difficult to make a will. Um, what, we, what I would say is that if you have a complicated estate, uh, we recommend that you get an attorney or you can come down to our department and we'll give you advice. Okay. Mm. All right. And Miss, when does the roadshow hit the road? The roadshow is this Friday, June 30. It is at Orange Park. A lot of people are not familiar with the name Orange Park, but if you have been to the UDC building, chances are you would have passed the Orange Park. This is downtown Kingston. It is downtown Kingston. It is at the intersection of Orange Street and uh, Ocean Boulevard okay. near the UDC building. And basically what we're doing is that we're taking our business to the people and we're offering kind of like a one-stop shop so we invite other agencies, agencies that we rely on to do business, like RGD, NLA, Accountant General, PICA. So if you have anything, if you have business with us or with them, you can come down on Excellent. Friday. What time? And it's between 10 and 3, 10 a.m. Okay. to 3 p.m. Orange Park folks, go figure out the will and all the other things that you need to um, figure out and face this one head on like myself. I need to do this quickly. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. Appreciate it. Public Education Manager, Nadine McLeod, and Senior Legal Executive, Kida Delahaye from the Administrator General's Department. And up next, we will discuss the Rujan Foundation's 27 initiatives. We'll be right back.